What's happening? Kenan Harkin here from Camp Kenan. I got some tortoises to talk about today. We're hanging out in Tampa at the Repticon show. A lot of fun. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the differences between feeding your tortoise. Now, they are vegetarians, but they are also specialists, and especially when we're talking about the sulcata. Sulcata tortoises are from sub-Saharan Africa, right actually along the fringe of the Sahara Desert. They're from an arid environment, which gets seasonal rain, so food is not always plentiful. They're also evolved to eat a high fiber but really low nutrient rich diet. So you want to replicate as closely as possible that diet. Guess what? I hear so many people ask me, what do I feed my sulcata? I feed it fruit, I feed it this. Well guess what? You're doing the absolute worst thing for your sulcata if you're feeding the little guy fruit. Like I said, evolve to eat grasses and browse. That means leaves, flowers, and some Apuntia type cactuses, succulents. That's how they get their moisture. Their intestines have bacteria that break down cellulose. It's very important for them. If you feed these animals fruit, change the pH balance of their intestines, they're not able to really process and digest the food they should be. It kills that positive bacteria in there. So they wind up getting diarrhea. And trust me, you don't want a tortoise with diarrhea. Not good. The other thing it do over a long period of time is it'll fry their kidneys out too high in sugar. And when people argue with you and say, oh, my tortoise eats fruit all the time, well, where are you finding apples in the Sahara Desert? Always try and replicate their natural diet. Come on over here, let me show you a tortoise that will eat pretty much the same thing as a sulcata, but you can also feed it fruit, and that's the redfoot tortoise. It's a fantastic tortoise from South America. It lives over a wide variety of habitats, from grasslands to forests to some jungle areas. These guys will eat all the same thing as the sulcata tortoise, but 30% of their diet is fruit. And by fruit, I mean some of the cantaloupe, watermelon, strawberries. That's good for them. They're evolved to be able to process those sugars as long as you don't overdo it. No tortoise is gonna stay on one type of food. So you should always try and give the tortoise variety. Very important. And also hydration is very important for these tortoises as well. In fact, whether you have an adult sulcata, a baby sulcata, or a redfoot, always try and soak it and provide it with food. Because hey, if I lived in the desert, one of my favorite things to do would be drink. So definitely do that. It's important. I'm Kenan Harkin from Camp Kenan. You can visit me on my YouTube channel, Camp Kenan. You can also see me on Instagram. I post lots of pictures of my tortoises at Camp Kenan or campkenan.com. Thanks a lot. We'll see you at another Repticon.